Hey everyone, welcome to the beginning of your HK SP5 experience. Okay, let's start the experience with a basic disassembly of the HK SP5. First thing you wanna do, obviously, is take the magazine out, do a YouTube safety check where you wanna see that there's nothing in the chamber. There's nothing in the chamber. The gun is clear, safe. The first step with disassembly is removing the rear pin. What you'll notice when you first get your gun, depending on your individual gun, is that pin may be a little tight. I have no problem pushing it, but somebody without as much finger strength, it might be a little tight. Don't panic. You can either push it out, or what you can do is use a small punch pin. Here's a four millimeter punch. There's all different sizes. Just use something a little bit smaller than the, the size of that pin. And if you do have some finger strength issues, you can take your punch, and a uh, small hammer, and again, this is no major force if you're doing that, and you can just give some light taps on the, on the pin. Might help if I have that where the pin will go through. And you can just punch that pin all the way through or punch it just right there to where it started, and then pull it out from the other side. From there, again, with new paint on any roller lock firearm, some of these, um, Buttstock uh, assemblies could be a little bit tight. Maybe, again, it depends on your strength, but you may have to wiggle it a little bit, you know, back and forth to have it come off. Some may just slide right off. Uh, if it's really tight for whatever reason, you could, again, just give a couple of gentle love taps right there. Don't, don't hit the metal, just keep it on the plastic. You shouldn't have to do that. But with just some light wiggles, just like that, light wiggles, it'll pull right off. The trigger pack will come right off and you can just lay the gun back like that and your entire bolt group will come out of the firearm. You can take this now, push this pin through on your forend and notice the punch pins are a little different. This is the rear punch pin, it's bigger. The handguard punch pin is smaller. You can put these to the side the handguard will just slide right off. And here you will see your beautiful German three lug barrel, threaded three lug barrel with this nice little stamping right here. It's so beautiful to see the German barrel. And let's just put this entire assembly aside for right now. Let's go back to our trigger pack. Just like the uh, SP5K, you have got an ambidextrous trigger pack, safe, semi-auto. You've got extended selector levers on either side, so we're not discriminating against right or left-handed shooters. And to take the trigger pack out of the trigger housing, there's a small bar right here that you're going to depress. I like to use my middle finger on my left hand. I push that down and then with the selector lever, what you're gonna do right here with the selector lever is turn it clockwise while you're depressing that little lever all the way to where you've got an alignment right there, just like that, an orientation, and then you can pull the selectors out. They will just fall apart and separate. You don't need any tools. And from there, you can just pull your trigger pack right out of your trigger housing. While we've got these disassembled, I want to show you a difference in the shelves here. The HK SP5 and the HK SP5K, the shelf has been redesigned from the HK90 series, the HK91, 93, 94, SP89. This is a different shelf. So when you look at your trigger pack housings, this is your HK SP5 housing, and you're gonna notice, maybe we'll call it an eye shape or an hourglass type shape to fit the, the, the shelf on your firearm. On the pre-ban guns, it's a completely different cut to fit the shelf. So please be aware that uh, your trigger pack housings from some prior uh, pre-band models are not going to fit, and if you want to make changes in the future out to the factory housing, you're going to need to make sure that you buy it specifically for the HK SP5 as the shelf is different, as you see here. 
Reassembly, very easy. You slide the trigger pack back into the housing. For putting the selector levers back in, you're going to, again, want to depress that little bar right here. Holding it down, you're going to insert the left side lever first to where it's flush against the plastic housing. Don't force anything, don't use tools, you don't want to create burrs on the trigger housing. Okay, so be careful, nothing you need to force. On the right hand side, you simply made up the orientation, okay, made up the orientation the same way. This just slides right on. Okay, same orientation on both sides. Once you've mated the two together, again, you're going to want to kind of press them in with your fingers. See how I'm doing that? Press them in with your fingers. Hold that little bar down. And then as you press in, you just simply rotate counterclockwise. And you will hit the first notch, the fire position, and then the safe position. From there, it's always good to do a check, make your pack work. So you can cock the hammer back, pull the trigger, and it should fire. Trigger pack's done.